Okay, just for fun, I'm going to graph my computer temperature. You can see up there the red is the main computer's temperature. I think the green is the graphics card temperature, both of which are probably on the high side to start with. But seeing as it shuts down, we might get an idea of when it does that, if it does that. Hope it doesn't uh, get in the way of the game too much. Okay. So, find the conduit. You just go first and the very last. But I'm wondering whether that's still. whether this is a separate thing. Well, this was going to give us a clue, wasn't it? So let's do this. Vermeer. Same as a system or something. Okay. Don't know. I saw, seen one of thirteen of these insignias. Apparently, sort of picking up things as I go here. Not sure they're the main thing. I, that was where was I? Just going out of the comms from. Let's see how uh Venezia's daughter's doing, I can't remember her name. She'd be in the med bay wherever that is. I wish we had to look at the map, that would be a lot more useful. Medical is here. I've got to kind of go to the mess hall and over. Where's the mess hall? Where's the mess hall? Where am I on this picture? Oh, I'm over there. thought I was over there, that's Caden. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? No. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, so she, I don't know, maybe she's in the sleeping pods. Oh, she'd be marked if she were, I suppose. Liara. Liara. Is that her name? Oh, Liara's here. Now I'm really confused. Why can't I see Liara? Map. It's right next to me. Oh yeah, she's right next to me. Got blind. <coughs> Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Doctor Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Venezia. <coughs> I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. Hey, am I going to mention that I killed... It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Am I going to mention that I killed her mother? I talk about you or investigate. I mean... Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control, and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, okay. not how she died. She My died, mother died. was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. Are you going to be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her. 
And I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers, but I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau, I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. <coughs> the Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate... Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess! How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the Union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. 
or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Isn't this a repeat of a question I already asked? Who was your father? Uh, just in case it isn't, I'll ask it. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? Oh, is there a piece? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was Benezia another... never told you her partner's name? Union with our own... A sorry do... I am what a... It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too... ashamed to publicly... Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. You might be right. I hope you are. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the I child... I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Right. I could go and talk to them all again, but let's just get on with that mission. Temperatures looking not too bad. Got the fan blowing here as well. <laughs> no, I used to find something beginning with a V, didn't I? Lush frontier world, ideal for colonization by carbon-based species, vast seas, and orbital position of the inner life zone. I've created a wide equatorial band of humid tropical terrain, unfortunately the political disability of nearby terminal systems has impeded colonization efforts. The high risk of raids by pirates and slavers makes it an unappealing homestead. So, gravity slightly lower than Earth. Garris a run for his money, how's he compare? Yeah, let's take... 
New Squad, Garrus and Liara. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Okay. Drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Okay. Where are these towers? There they are. Those towers are just weird. They're kind of cool though, we haven't seen those before. Go down easy. It's over there, just grass. Look at that, there's just a couple of shots in there down. Actually, not the uh, main concern here. I mean, I'm not even sure those are uh, enemies. They're like the gas bag equivalents, maybe. Might not take one, the next one down, see if it actually attacks us. Going in cautious here. Is that thing aggressive? It doesn't look like it's actually going to attack us. If I ignore it. Die so easy that I find it hard to believe there could be a threat. Let's see what happens. No. That's a no threat at all. Clearly something just around this corner. Garrus got such low health right now. It's a bit bizarre. Wonder if I should. Uh... He's not healing either. I guess I should look at the map and see if we're actually going somewhere. Here I am going to this gatehouse. Garrus gets the brunt of these attacks. The thing about that is, he's not healing. Let's get out and heal him. Where are you? All clear. Not sure why or if that was necessary, but.
which I will be able to quick save in a second. Let's try again. No? Let's try again. No. Okay, what's going on now? Let's try and get to that point. Oh, come on, I must be able to quick save. What can I quick save? No, no. Can't put a red dot over there.
I don't know, in steps over here. Sometimes the buttons don't, I'm pressing them and then it's not quite. There we go. Oh, there's a limit. Okay. Just wondering about that. Some omni drill stuff, so yeah. Ah, the old Geth sniper. save soon because I haven't saved for a long time. Okay, hard decryption. Come on, let me quick save. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, well, once I reach the limit, I'll worry about that. Come on, let me quick save now. There's no enemy. There we go. Regen over time. Okay, look, this, this looks like the obvious way around, so why would anybody go this way, I wonder? What if you could jump that? That'd be quite fun. You know, I'm tempted to have a look and see why. It's probably just a dead end, but. Advanced first aid, restores 100 health for all in your party. I mean, it's similar to what I've already got, but you know, the more you can heal, the better, I suppose. No, I'll just increase my armor up to every bit of armor, it's gonna be worthwhile. Uh, good things. 
so possibly it's a shame that I'm at I guess the fours aren't going to be as good as the fives. Kinetic polonium. Kinetic stabilizer. So I've got proton rounds, polonium rounds, and kinetic buffer. Okay, so get rid of those. Stuff. Oh, it's a shame I'm having to. I should have read that last message. Uh, well, I don't know. How many of these things am I have to get rid of? Oh well, I'll just have to get rid of them. Skeleton sounds really cool. I'm just gonna win. Sure, I don't have to get rid of all of this stuff, do I? Right, that was painful. Now I need to get rid of some of this stuff that I really don't need. Oh, look at that rifle. So I can't really use rifles, but that is so much better than my rifle. Anyway, pistols is what I care about. It's a nice pistol, still a 35. So I need to reduce a lot of these things to Omnigel. But I guess I'll equip first and then reduce after. Armor. Oh, that's not any use to me. Onyx, no. Grenades. Currently with grenades I've got this anti-thorian gas buff. I know that Garrus is using a assault rifle. I'm gonna give him that one. Let's modify it as well. Uh, see if I give him visibility of the enemies. I guess only he gets it, I don't get it.
doing fairly random things here, I don't really care as long as I've got some kind of upgrade on them. Sniper. Stabilizer is always good on a sniper. He's Tyrion, isn't he? Oh, I think he's got to have um, a medium armor. I don't know if they're going to make use of this stuff or not. It does feel like it's good to mix it up a bit. Okay, quite a nice bit of equipment going on there. Alright, I was gonna, in case I come across a lot of other stuff, I think I might just reduce a lot of this to uh, the gel now. Can I highlight more than one thing? No. Wow, well, that's a slow process. I'll do for now. Okay, now we're gonna go see what this little gap is. Oh, I do quick quick save and all that could be for nothing if I don't if I die before I save. Okay, 
Okay, so it, it looked like it's a stealth tunnel. That's fine. I hate these colossuses. find a way to disable their artillery. Yeah, I figured that. And again, I can't quick save. There must be a way to shut that gun down. Okay, let's uh, sabotage you. Absorbs uh, damage but cannot block attacks that bypass shields. 
Stasis. These are five, so they might be quite good. These stiletto five is that better? Than, I think I got a four, or is it a six? I'm gonna take them. Let's check what did I have. to the Solarian base now. now. Ready to continue on your mark with the commander ship. Oh, come on. It wasn't even a hard one. special. Oh, another gatehouse. Okay. the other side of this gatehouse, or inside the gatehouse. Shock troopers, shock troopers, shield down on that one. You guys anywhere near me? Ah, oh, Liara is here. Do something special, Liara, what you got? Throw the shock trooper. Lift them in the air. Okay. Again, that was pretty awesome. Uh, we're done here. Pretty awesome. Okay, I had a quick break there. 
skip the video, but you won't really notice that. I can't remember what I was doing. I've already been this way. I've got to open the gate. That was the final gate. Our path to the Solarian camp should be clear from here. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Interesting. There is the Solarian camp. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Um... Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here. It's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, yeah, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Jesus, there's a lot of dodgy gangs on here. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? Yeah. It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. I'm kind of on Krogan's side on this one. Where is he? 
Wait, the rack. Jesus, what's what? This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Kind of on his side, I don't... Uh, I guess this is... These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets. Tools to be used and discarded. Is that what you want for your people? No. We were tools for the Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. I don't like Just it one either. Thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Okay. This might be a good place to. Uh, I don't know how long I've, this video has been. I'll just double check whether there's much more to do on this. Uh, two points, two points, two points. I'm an engineer, I'm an engineer for God's sake, come on. <coughs> so what is the... Uh, I'm gonna stop here, because I'm quite even sure what the next step is.